My name is Ralph Rebant and I'm running for the governor of Michigan. I'm a pastor, but I'm running on bringing God back into culture because I'm convinced that if we don't get God right in this next election, nothing will matter. Bringing God back to Michigan, um, what would that look like? Would there be religion taught in schools? Uh, there would be, uh, as our founder said, the Bible should be the basic textbook in scripture, I mean in schools. Are there books that you don't want to see in schools? Uh, I would remove the pornography. But we need to ban, we need to ban books that, that have porn, pornographic imagery in them, right? Yes, okay. yes. Because, because we, somebody was telling us about a book that had like two daughters getting their dad drunk and having sex with them. Yeah, I knew you were going that way. I knew you were doing that. Yeah, it's yeah, a good point. So you're saying ban the Bible in school? Uh, no, I'm not saying ban the Bible in school. I, I get where you're going with your questions. Right, because it's because it's a you, you're saying yeah, anything that has a pornographic image should be banned, and the, there are some images in the Bible about you know sex and incest and things like that. So, it sounds like you're saying we should ban the Bible. Uh, what I am saying is that the Judeo-Christian principles under which our country is founded need to be brought back into culture. And I, that, I can't state it any more clearly than that. Um, and if that means I, banning the Bible, so be it. The Bible would not be banned from culture or... From the schools. I'm just saying the schools. Protect the kids. No, I... That is incest. With your own daughter, that's incest. With your own sister is incest. With your daughter-in-law is incest. Now you know what's incest. He says, you know, incest. He says, yeah, the dark stain on our society, on American societies. 13 percent, 13 out of every 100 white people, American Christians, they commit incest with their own daughters. They sleep with their own daughters, as, using them as wives, their own daughters. There's no backward nation on earth who does that. He's saying, he's crying. And in this book, in this book, he's giving us that in the Holy Bible, there are 10 cases of incest in this Holy Book. As if this is a textbook on incest. If you want to know what, what type of incest you can do, get this book. It will tell you 10 different cases of incest. Son, father cohabiting with his daughters is here. Son with his mother is here. Father-in-law with his daughter-in-law is here. Brothers and sisters are here. In this holy book. But they want to push this down your throat. He said, you're going to go to hell with this Quran. He said, you haven't got it. You must put this book away and take this now. He'll teach you 10 different types of incest. He'll teach you. This Quran can't. Wallah, it can't. There is not a single case of incest in this book to tell you, you know, you can do this and that and that and that. There's nothing here. But they're telling you, get rid of this book. Get this and it'll take you to heaven. And it'll take you to hell here and hell in the hereafter. Both. Jahannam both ways. Here, you'll be in hell. 8% of the whites of South Africa, they commit incest with their own daughters. 8%. That's what they tell us. Maybe more, but they tell us 8% of the white people in South Africa, Christians, they're committing incest with their own daughters. Americans, 13% they commit incest with their own daughters. And that nation is worried about you. They want to take you to heaven. They are in hell now, and they want to take you to heaven. No. So, you read about ins after with pornography. Pornography. But that country of mine banned portions of the Bible. There was a pamphlet in circulation with extracts, nine extracts from the Holy Bible. And somebody sent it to the censorship board. Said, look at this. What is this? So, they made a decree that this pamphlet is banned, not knowing that these are words from the Holy Bible. These were extracts from the Holy Bible, from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 23. I dare any preacher read it to read it to his congregation. I dare any evangelist to read it to his mother, his sister, his daughter, or even to his fiance if she's a good woman. Ezekiel, chapter 23, the whoredoms of those two sisters. Ahola and Aholiba. The language, the language. So knew it. My government banned it. And there were two ministers of the church on the board when they banned it. But they didn't know they were banning extracts from the Holy Bible. My government is so staunch that they had banned Lady Chatterley's Lover. It's a novel. 
lady chatterley's lover it had one offensive word four letter word one word for which they banned it for 20 years but now they've grown big they're mature now they have allowed it you know they have desensitized. they have withdrawn that uh, that order against the book but nine extracts from the holy bible the book of god which you are ashamed to read to your audience i dare my brother i dare him to read this pamphlet i have it here ready he doesn't have to even open the book here all those wordings in red i said look with your usual your usual charismatic language with the usual actions i would love to see brother swagat I, I i feel ashamed to bribe him i said look brother swagat if you can read it to the audience i give you a hundred dollars what is a hundred dollars to brother swagat <laughs> when i'm reading in his book on roman catholicism that he needs two hundred and ninety one thousand dollars a day to keep his head above water I calculated 106 million a year just to keep above water and in the evangelist of December 85 he's aspiring I wish him luck he's aspiring for one million dollars a day he needs he says one million dollars a day so good luck there but now <laughs> if I said I give you a thousand brother sir God I'll give you a thousand you know I can't tempt him I know but in his usual spirited way i hope and i pray that he has the courage the guts which all the priests in my experience have not had read it read it to your audience ezekiel chapter 23 if you can't then i can tell you that it is not the word of god the bible is not the word of god <laughs>